Hi, the Chesterfield Township Library has allowed me, Mr. Mike, another drawing video with you guys. Today I want to do the last living dinosaur known as the Thesaurus. If you don't know the Thesaurus, please go to the library, talk to your librarian. She'll tell you exactly what the Thesaurus does and eats. Today we have him eating a book. I have uh, this breakdown of the shapes as we normally do. They're triangles, circles, and squares. So we have squares for the glasses, circles for the eyes, a uh, square inside the glasses, a half circle for the earpiece, pretty much an oval for the head. I have triangles for the spikes and for the teeth, half circles for the nose, uh, an oval for the uh, upper lip uh, nose area, an oval for the body. The hands, the fingers, usually we use ovals. I do for uh, fingers, a couple of half circles for the elbows, um, rectangle for the chest, uh, half circles or circle, we'll go actually circles for the feet, half circle for the foot itself, um, toes round, uh, let me see, uh, more circles for the toes, uh, oval for the foot, um, the leg, probably another oval, triangle for the tail, I'm gonna bend that, um, and I have triangles for the spikes. I'm gonna move on from there, so that'd be a breakdown of our picture. I'm gonna begin with my nice blank piece of paper, but I do have a blotter underneath there, which is a piece of construction paper to soak up all the ink that's going to go through here. I guarantee you it will go through and it'll end up on my table. I don't want that. I've made enough mess at home. Sorry, mom, we're gonna move on. I have the center of my paper. I'm gonna scoot up a little bit. So my center of my paper, I'm probably gonna do the book, but if I go a little farther up, I'm gonna start where the mouth is. I'm gonna start with the mouth, draw the head, and then the uh, book, and then the body. So I'm gonna start with a smile. So the center of my paper, I'm gonna crawl up about maybe three fingers or so. Then I'm gonna make one kind of a smile, but I'm gonna go straight across and end it. So I have a nice straight line, and it hooks just a little bit. My smile wrinkle just to know where I'm at. So there's my top of my mouth. I'm gonna draw the teeth real quick. I'm gonna make the two middle teeth, so fairly large triangles down, up, down, up in the middle of my mouth. Now my canines are going to be next to it. So down and back up, down and back up, down and back up for two more teeth. One, two, and maybe I have a little more room so I'll put one on that far side. So I have just enough teeth to hold up the book. I'm going to uh, pretty much, I guess I can finish the book real quick since I'm here. Um, right where the teeth are, I'm going to start with the teeth and go down. Start with the teeth and go down pretty much the same length because what I want to do is play connect the dots and make one big rectangle underneath for the book. Now for the spine of the book, it's probably eating that, so I'm gonna jump over a little bit to the last tooth and go down the same length as my book cover. I'm gonna head back to it. So I have one big rectangle, so I have a rectangle here, a rectangle here. My pages, I'm gonna start back with the tooth and come down. I'm gonna not touch the bottom because I'm gonna jump over and make some pages. To make the pages, I'm just gonna draw some quick squiggly lines at the bottom, straight lines at the bottom, so now he's got pages. That's enough for the book. I'm gonna draw his head really fast, so right where I left off at the end of the nose, I'm gonna turn around and head back and stop pretty much in the middle where I was, because I'm gonna do the glasses now. Right where I stopped this line, I'm gonna go up, jump over a bit, go up again, across from my glasses, so I have a rectangle for the or square for the glasses. Now I'm gonna do the same with the other side, so I'm gonna space over a little bit, go down, I'm gonna come across and across, and down, so I have two rectangles on top of his head. I'm gonna stay pretty much within the smile wrinkle. I don't wanna go too far out. Now for the glasses, I'm gonna make a rectangle or square inside of the square. So down, down, over, over. Down, maybe over, down. I don't have a whole lot of room because of that nose, so I'm gonna just kinda of end it there, not gonna do the bottom piece. The eyes are circles, so one circle, two circles. In between the glasses, I need to hold them together, so I'm gonna do a little rectangle inside the glasses to hold them up. Um, I'm gonna wait, so I'm gonna finish the nose. So right underneath my glasses, half circle for the nose, half circle for the nose, half circle inside that nose, half circle inside the nose. Now he's got some nostrils. To finish off the glasses, gonna go in the middle of my glasses on the far side here. Out, out. I'm gonna just turn around and back up. So that's for the earpiece to hold them up. If you have glasses, you know you have to hold those on. So for the head, it's gonna be fairly easy. It's gonna trace around the uh, eyes that we just did. So starting with the glasses, I can start anywhere I want, but I'm gonna tuck it over. Here's the center, I'm gonna move over a little bit and go up. I'm gonna stop just a little bit because I'm going to make a little triangle for my, um, my first uh, spike. Just the one that kind of sticks over so it, I can end it and then I'm gonna jump back to this corner and go around the head, around the head, 
finish down the spiral stop there right by the book is so he's got a really skinny kind of long neck and then i can make a couple more spikes on top of his head and a couple more down the neck area and end there so he's got just the head i think he's looking pretty cute for the head i'm gonna do the body really fast so where i left off with the neck we will be half circle down and stop that's going to be pretty much where his body ends um, the rest of it, I'm going to do the uh, whole uh, body in just a minute, but I want to do the hands. So somewhere down below his book, I'm going to make fingers. I'm going to float them one, two, three. When I say float them, they don't attach anything at this point. So I'm going to go back where I left off and up just a little bit. And with the shoulder, right where my last finger was, I'm going to go over and then up. So these fingers are going to go one finger, two fingers, three fingers. There's a half uh, circle like kind of ovals and then right where the pinky was I'm gonna go down back toward the book and to finish off the hand I have the back of the hand there back of the hand there and up a little bit for the arm so they're a little stylized but it doesn't matter they're the tiny little fingers they can be however they want underneath his elbow on this side I'm gonna do the rest of his tummy so I'm gonna make one big half circle now I can stop and make a fancy knee so I can finish off this big circle if I want but I want this big thigh here so right kind of where I left off I'm just going to turn in and up a little bit. So it's kind of a little bit of tummy. And at the bottom, I'm going to continue it. So it just has a little bit of difference in the tummy and the leg. So now his neck underneath the book, down and down, just follows that tummy, follows that tummy. And I can make some stripes inside there to give him a little bit more ridges on his tummy. I'm going to finish his tail really quick. His tail's pretty much the same way as I did the head. I'm going to go up a little bit from the back side and make one little kind of half circle, maybe a triangle, I guess, for one spike. I don't want spiky spikes. I don't want too pointy. Then I'm going to follow up to another one, up, follow another one, keep going up, follow another one. I'm going to start turning, so I'm going to go over and end there. Maybe one last spike that kind of turned on the side. Turns around, follows down the rear side, and ends there. So he's got one kind of snaking tail. I left a little gap at the end because I want to do my um, leg, my foot. So inside the foot, it's just going to be, has to come out like a C. It's going to almost look like a C, almost a G with a line coming through it. So it ends here. Remember, heel, half circle, one toe, two toes three toes and to keep following around the foot so where I ended I'm going to turn around and I need a gap there so I'm gonna go back up so it's a foot here I'm gonna go down heel one toe two toes three toes right where the foot was turn around and head back up well he's pretty much done but I'm gonna put some details on him because I think he needs some oh I don't want to draw scales I'll be here forever so I'm gonna draw some spots on him I like my spots on my Thesaurus. I think he needs some kind of here and there. I don't need to know exactly measured out. He's got some spots. I'm not going to put him on this side because he's got the book in his mouth and there's a bunch of um, teeth chomping on his book. Don't eat your books. It's not a good idea. But because he is, I'm sure there's going to be a couple of pieces of paper and some pages falling off of the book. Not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. Don't destroy the books. Make sure that they're nice and returned neat so the next person can check them out and you can go check them out the same ones again and again and again well that pretty much wraps them up but i am going to sign my name at the bottom because this is my picture you can sign your name on yours because it's your picture make sure you put the year on there it's 21 at this point i want to tell you guys to get to the library check out some books ask your librarian what the thesaurus is or you can ask your parents i'm sure they'll know too if they don't well then we can go to the library we have to figure all that out don't we so i want you to uh go there check out books check out dinosaurs um i'm going to add some color to this but before i go i want to uh, quote my friend cj draw all the things bye guys